right, this is a tutorial for my song, One Day, and uh, the tuning is in dropped D, and uh, the rhythm guitar for this song is really easy, so I'll just go over that real quick. Uh, there's three chords. The first one, on the fifth and sixth string, you want to be on the ninth fret, and on the third string, you want to be on the seventh fret, and you're just going to strum it like this. And then you let that ring out, and you go to the next chord, down here, uh, sixth and fifth string on the fifth fret, third string on the fourth fret and you strum it the same way. You let that ring out. And then for the next chord, you just take these two fingers here on the fifth and sixth string and you slide up to the seventh fret, but you keep this one where it is on the fourth fret. Okay, and for the entire uh, clean part of the song, you just keep playing those three chords back and forth. And then the lead guitar comes in and uh, the settings that I use for that, you wanna be on the neck pickup and uh, set your tone dial. I have, uh, I set mine to like seven or eight, just so it's not so bright. And uh, the first part of it sounds like this. Okay, it's really simple. The entire lead part for the song is actually pretty easy. Uh, it's just some memorization. Uh, first off, first string you wanna go open, and then slide from two to five. Okay, now on the second string, you want to go 7-5. And on the third string, you want to go 7-9. And you can see there, you hit the 7 twice, and then uh, right after you hit it the second time, you slide up to 9. Okay, and the next part of the song sounds like this. Okay, all you're doing there on the second string, you're going to go 7, 10, and then when you get to 10, you want to slide all the way down to 2. Okay, and then you're going to go 3, 5, 3. Okay, and then on the third string, you're going to go 6, 7. And there you see you hit the 6 twice and then slide up to 7 after you hit it the second time. Okay, and then there's a harmonic on the 2nd string, 7th fret. So that would go. Okay, and then right after that you hear a series of harmonics that sounds like this. Okay, all you're doing there is on the 1st uh, string you're going to go 7. 3rd string, 5th fret. 2nd string, 7th fret. 3rd string, 7th fret. Okay, and the next part of the song comes in and sounds like this. All you're doing there is on the first string, you're going to go 10, 7. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing on the second string. Okay, and then you go back up to 10 on the second string. And on the first string, you're going to hammer from 7 to 10, and then slide up to 12. Back down to 10. And then right here you're going to go 12, 10, 9, 10. And right when you go to 10, you want to hammer from 9 to 10. So that's... Okay, and the next part sounds like this. Okay, to start off on the 4th and the 5th string, you want to be on the 12th fret, just bar across that with your 1st finger. You want to hammer from 12 to 14 on the 5th string and then the 4th string right after that, so like this. Okay, and then you let off on the 4th string so that you're on 12, so that's... Okay, and this time you're going to hammer from 12 to 14 on the 5th string, and then on the 4th string, you're going to hammer from 14 to 16. And then you lift up so that you're on 12 again on the 4th string. Okay, and then you do the first part again where it does the... And then right here when you get to the 14th fret of the 4th string, you want to slide up to 16. Back down to 14. And then you're going to go 12, 11, 12. This is that last part we go. Okay, 
Okay, and then on the third string, you're going to hammer from 11 to 14. And then when your ring finger is here, just lay it down so that you're on the 14th fret of the second and the third string, and then strum those two strings. Okay, and then the next chord is uh, second string 12th fret, third string 11th fret, and you're gonna strum those two together. So that would go. Okay, and then you hear another set of harmonics, uh, sounds, sounds like this. It's gonna go the fifth string, then the fourth string on the fifth fret. And on the second string, seventh fret, third string, seventh fret. Okay, and then you're going to hear this. And all you're doing there is on the first and second string, you want to be on the 10th fret. Third string, you want to be on the 11th fret. Okay, and then for the first chord, use your pinky and bar across the first and second string on the 12th fret and strum that. And then you just lift up your pinky so that you're back to this chord. And then you hear a little pick scrape that sounds like this. All I'm doing there is I'm using the side of the pick to scrape the fifth and the fourth string together. And each time you scrape it, you scrape it three times, but each time you scrape it, you get a little bit higher, uh, closer towards the bridge. That's pretty much it. And the next part sounds like this. Okay, so there's a lot of hammering and pulling off there. Uh, to start off, you start by going on the 5th string, 14th fret, and then you're on the 4th uh, string, you're going to go 12, 14, 16, so like this. Okay, and then you go back down to 14. Okay, and this is where you do a hammer pull off from 14 to 16, so it would go like this. Okay, so it's 14, 16, 14, but you hammer and then pull off. And then back down to 12. So I'll go like this. Okay, and then uh, you hear that really high note that slides down. All that is is on the third string. You just go up to the highest, highest fret that you can and just slide down. Okay, right after you slide there, you do that uh, same hammer pull off from 14 to 16, back to 12, just like you did uh, right before the slide. So it'll go. Slide. Okay, and then right here, uh, it's sort of similar, but uh, it goes like this. You're going to do that hammer pull-off thing from 12 to 14, and then 12 to 16, and you're going to do each one twice, so that would go. And you start on the 14th fret. Okay, just like that. And then on the 5th string, you're going to go to the 14th fret and hit that twice. And then on the 4th string, you're going to go 11, 12, and then you're going to do a hammer pull off from 11 to 12 down to 9. Okay, so that last part would go like this. Okay, just like that. And on the second string, you're going to hit the uh, harmonic on the 12th fret. So that last part would go. And then the very last part of the lead goes like this. Okay, and then all you're doing there is on the uh, fourth string, you're going to go 11, 12, 14. And you're going to do that twice. Okay, then right here you're going to go up to 16 and slide back down to 11. And then you're going to do 11, 12, 11, 12. And then the second time you're going to actually hammer from 11 to 12 and then pull off from 12 to 11. Okay, so I'll play that slowly. And then right here on the fifth string, you're going to go 12, 14, and you're going to hammer from 12 to 14. Okay, and then right here, you'll hear uh, the rhythm guitar start strumming like this.
Okay, uh, it's the same chords from before, but you're just continuously strumming this time, and it's gonna repeat that just once. And it's gonna go through that twice. And right where it repeats, you're gonna hear the lead guitar play this. Okay, it's really simple. Uh, you want to bar across the first and the second string on the 10th fret and put your middle finger on the third string, 11th fret. And you're just going to pick it in this order, go 3, 2, 1, and uh, do that over and over. Okay, and then right here you go up to the 12th fret of the first string and do that again. And you can see right before you go to the next note, uh, you're gonna instead of going three two one, you're gonna go three two one two, as it repeats. Okay, so it, uh, as it goes up to the last note, which is the fourteenth fret of the first string, watch how I switch the picking pattern. Okay, and then right after you hit that last note, you just mute the strings, and uh, you also hear the rhythm guitar kind of do this right towards the end where it goes. And you meet the strings right when you get to that last chord uh, the last measure too you just do all down strokes and sort of kind of increase the intensity that you're hitting the strings at and then you just meet the strings like that and then uh, the distorted guitar comes in and sounds like this and uh, all you're doing there it's really easy just hit two dead notes I kind of try to mute the strings right above the third fret because that kind of gives it more of a, like a metallic -y dead note so uh, you do that twice and then let it and then strum it open and you just do that one more time and then you just do a slide as the next part comes in and for this last part of the song the whole distorted part I'm gonna go through the rhythm guitar first and uh, it goes like this As you can see there, you play open for quite a while. Uh, I don't know exactly how many measures I'd have to listen to the song again, but you can easily tell where the chords switch. And then all you're doing there after that is you uh, bar across the seventh fret, and then you go down to five. And then when you go back up to seven, you don't just bar across seven, but you also hit the ninth fret of the fourth string. So it go. And then it just repeats one more time. And then the distorted guitar after that part, goes like this. And then it just repeats that one more time. All you're doing there is uh, playing open, palm muted, and you're gonna downstroke 12 times. And then you're gonna hear this. All you're doing there is uh, palm muting open, and then not palm muting five, and you're gonna do that twice, so it'll go. Just like that, okay? And then right after that, you do a triplet before you repeat, uh, a triplet on the open. So that last part would go. And then it repeats right there. Okay, and then the second time it repeats, right at the very end of the song, uh, it ends slightly differently, it just goes like this. And that's it. After you do the open five, open five, followed by the triplet, you stop palmating and you just hit open one more time and let it ring out. Okay, now for the lead guitar, it's all octave chords. Uh, I have a video on my channel showing an easy way to play octave chords, uh, but to start off, the first part of it goes like this. Okay, that's right where it repeats. It starts off by going 5-7-5. Five, five. Okay, and right here it's going to go 9-7-2. 
Okay, and then it's going to go up to 12, to 9, and then 12, 7. And right here when you get to that 7, that's where the rhythm guitar stops playing the open and goes to the 7-5-7. Seven, seven. Okay, and then right after that the octave chords just go 9-5-7. Okay, and then it just right there, it repeats uh, the whole thing one more time. And then when the rhythm guitar is doing the palm meeting, the lead guitar is playing this. All you're doing there, that's a uh, octave chord on the fifth fret, and you're going to hit it six times. And right here, you're going to go up to seven and hit that once. And then you go back down to five, but this time you're only going to hit that third string, which is on the seventh fret. So. Okay, and then you repeat that one more time, except this time you're going to hit this uh, eight times. And then right here, you're going to hit that uh, third string again, which is on the seventh fret. And then you're going to go up to a seven octave chord and start strumming. So we go. Okay, and right here you're gonna go up to 12, down to five, and then go seven, nine. Okay, and then it just repeats one more time. All right, right at the very end of the song, uh, the second time it repeats how it ends, it just does this again. And, uh, and then it fades out. All you're doing there is you're doing the same as before. You're hitting the 5th fret octave chord. And then uh, right as it ends, you go up to the 7th fret, but you're not going to hit the whole thing. You're just going to hit the 3rd string part of it, which is on the ninth fret. And then you go back down to 5 and just let that ring out. So the last part would go. And then it just fades out. And that is pretty much it. And that's my song, One Day. Thanks for watching.